gentlemen, this is Michael Givada, the Fishing Fanatic. And today I'm going to address the question, can you use a saltwater bait in freshwater? And I want to show you this package here. If you look at this, this is a Berkeley Gulp. And it says saltwater there in the left-hand corner. And up here on the right-hand corner, it's a two-inch shrimp in the glow color. Now, if you look at that product package, it is empty. I wonder what that is telling us. But anyway, later on in this uh, episode, you'll see exactly what happened when I tried this product out here in some freshwater um, lakes in Katy, Texas. And I think you'll be surprised with what you see. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and we'll be back soon. Goodbye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today's date is Sunday, March the 20th, and this little bass that you see me catching right here was caught on, believe it or not, a salt water, which is being marketed as a salt water lure. And took her kind of deep. I'm going to have to see if I can get this hooked out real quick. To help in these kind of like minor little surgery situations, I uh, go ahead and bend down the barb wire. The barb wire, excuse me, the barb on the hook but here you get to see that nice little fish and I'll show you what I was using for bait here in just one moment let's just let her get back in the water because again she was bleeding slightly and there she goes so what was I using for bait as I put my hat cam back on let me show you what I was using grass off. And I was using a Berkeley gulp and these are the two inch shrimp is what this is that I was using. And you know it just goes to show you that you can use just about anything and a fish is a fish and they'll take it. Now sure there are exceptions to that rule but uh, I imagine this looks a little bit like a crawfish and uh, have been having good luck with this. I bought this at a store that was discontinuing them I guess and they're wonderful little baits. So I'm going to try it rigging up again and see what we can do. So I'm putting this off for just a few moments here. Ladies and gentlemen, third cast using that salt water lure and look, look what we have here nice 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 little fish and again you can see that saltwater lure right there on the bottom part of its lip so a good little bass right there again there you see that little two inch salt water lure and you can see the nice bass. So it doesn't have to be a freshwater bait. You can catch them on saltwater baits too. That's a nice fish. Put the hat back on. Get this hook out of its mouth. And she should be ready to go. There she goes. There she goes. Alright. Turn this off while I rig up again. And we'll go from there. Okay, here's where you get to see that little shrimp rigged up on this bait. And we're going to give it another shot that's on a one, a size one hook. Not one knot, but a size one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, action slowed down for a while, but it did not completely die. You can see this nice little fish that I caught right here. And again, 
there you see that saltwater bait that I was using right there. But nice little bass. And again, with where it's hooked on the side of the mouth and the barbless hook, that thing's going to come out real simple. So I'm going to let her go and try a few more casts and we'll call it a day.